The Ark Wars Exodus by Aaron E. Johnson. Copyright 2014. All rights reserved. Prologue. August 25th, 2117. Television broadcast, all networks. Official notice from the director of the Department of Defense, United North American Alliance. A small briefing room is filled with several nervous reporters, talking and checking their recording equipment in preparation for a hastily called meeting each stopping whatever busy work they might have been doing when a door in the front of the room opens. Several officials, all dressed similarly, enter, taking a position directly behind the Alliance's official state news podium, not saying anything. They are followed in by two heavily armed Marine guards. The last guard closing the door behind him, signaling the beginning of the meeting to one of the officials in the middle of the lineup. The guards take their places, bookending the officials at the front of the room, looking out at the gathered reporters quietly. The nondescript official returns the nod to the guard once he's finished taking his security position and steps to the podium. Thank you all for being here this evening. If you all could take your seats, I would like to begin. The nicely dressed man in his early 60s said. Then waiting a few moments for the reporters to get comfortable and quiet down, he begins. My name is Felix R. Cruz, the director of the Department of Homeland Defense. As of this morning, I was appointed by President Mary Riley to oversee an important issue that concerns every citizen. She has asked me to read a prepared statement to better clarify her vision about some of the important matters that were addressed in her State of the Alliance address last week here on Capitol Hill. I am sure you will have many questions. However, I will not be taking any questions at the end of this statement Please submit those questions to my secretary's office at the conclusion of this meeting. Thank you so much. The gathered reporters whisper among one another during his short pause as he readies himself at the cherry wood podium before reading the president's prepared statement, which he had pulled from his press suit pocket while introducing himself. Adjusting his nostalgic glasses, he smiles to the reporters, clears his throat, and begins reading. <clears throat> All citizens of our great country, we feel that it has become necessary to inform you that our National Science Department has confirmed some of the predictions made by our fellow nation states on some planetary movements. They have been recently reporting these planetary movements through the free ICE news channels. The South American Union has confirmed that the orbit of Jupiter is shifting inwards towards the Sun. It will cause some orbital movements of the inner planets as it does so. This will cause some small disruptions of Earth's orbit during the reshifting of the gaseous planet towards us. We expect very little in the way of changes in weather, as the projected movements will be very slight. We had already confirmed this planetary data a few months ago, but we felt that it was of no real importance to the greater population and did not want to cause any alarm among the greater population for such a minor change in our planet's orbit. We felt that this was just a natural occurrence in the development of any solar system's life cycle, now, however, we feel that we must inform every citizen so that we may stop any rumors by those that would like to disrupt our country's peace. The reporters start raising their hands to see if they can ask some questions, a couple of the braver reporters going as far as interrupting, but instantly stop when one of the guards at the front steps forward with a foul look on his face. Stepping back into his position once the room had quieted down, please, if you will let me continue. <clears throat> however... We will be placing the country on the highest alert as a precaution as we determine the extent of the changes to our environment. Any person found breaking martial law will face swift justice. This will be an exciting time for humanity and our nation as we make our way through this strange adjustment in our planet's history. We must all ensure that all of the central government laws are maintained throughout this rumorous period. We believe that some political groups will try to create lies in order to disrupt the safety and security of our great country. And, as Director of the Department of Defense, I will not tolerate that sort of behavior, as I have said. I have also been asked by the President to also inform everyone watching this broadcast tonight that we will be increasing our budgets for development of interplanetary travel between our Mars colony projects and Earth. This will ensure the protection of our interests on Mars. We will also be asking the Chinese Union and the Euro-Socialist Compact to cease the creation of additional trooper ships being built for the purpose of claiming additional Mars territories. They must understand that their actions are done against the Casablanca Accords of 2116, which they signed in good faith with our country. All lawful efforts will be taken by this government. 
to ensure we protect our rights to Mars.